Whenever someone asks me about streaming music around the home or even multi-room audio, the first company that I think of is Sonos. Well today I'm here to show you a new player in the market and they're called Vessel. And right here in front of me, I have the Vessel A1. Before you get into this, you know what you need to do. Hit that like or dislike button, leave me a comment down below. And if you like what you see, remember to press the subscribe button with the bell notification. And finally, a big thank you to Lin ITX for sending me these devices to play around with today. Let's start by having a closer look at what comes inside the box and what connections it has on the unit itself. So this is the box that the uh, vessel unit comes in. So let's open it up and take a quick look inside. So straight away, you're greeted with some instructions and a QR code to get you started on how to set it up. And then we have the main unit itself. So if we have a little look in here, there's a little sticker at the back or sellotape. And that is the unit. The unit itself is actually fairly light. If we have a quick once over the unit and then we'll go through the IO connections. And yeah, like I said, it's fairly light. It is plastic. It's got some wall mounting options at the back here. So these, okay, these are magnetic. So the feet are magnetic on here. So you can literally just take those off and you can wall mount this straight to the wall. And it's actually thin enough for a 1U uh, rack cap uh, rack mount as well. So if you have a base that you wish to rack mount this on, you can do that. So let's pop that aside and then you've got your accessories. Let's have a quick look at what comes in here. So you have your Phoenix connector, which you can plug your speakers into. You have a, what seems to be an IR blaster and you have a European power supply. So I actually have a separate UK power supply for this. So we'll be using that. So realistically, I'm more interested in the Phoenix connector because I have a in-wall ceiling uh, speaker system that I'm going to be demoing today. So looking at the connectivity on the back, you've got the figure of eight power supply. You have a network in and out, so you can daisy chain your network connection. So if you have multiple of these set up, you can actually daisy chain them and not using all your ports. You have a coax in and out, optical in and out, analog in and out. This is the IR remote. Uh, if you have a subwoofer, there's the out connection here and your speaker outs just here. So that's the Phoenix connector. So let's go ahead and get the speakers set up. Um, unfortunately, I won't be putting them into the ceiling. Um, we'll be leaving them in the box for this demo, um, but it will give you some sort of understanding of what they're like and how they work. But we'll go ahead and screw in the Phoenix connectors and get these set up. Just to show you how easy these are to connect, um, just so I can show you in terms of cabling. So you've got the red cable here, or just, and the black one here. And it's just a case of popping the little screw down and just inserting the cable. And then the same on the other side as well. So just pop this down, pop the cable in, and away you go. Obviously make sure your cable is in properly, and then it will show you the plus and minus on either side. So once you've done that bit, then you need to grab your Phoenix connector, and on the back it shows you left and right, uh, plus and minus as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these screwed in, and I'll show you what we need to do after that. Just to show you what I've done here, so, um, as I mentioned earlier, you've got the left and right. So I've got a speaker on my left here and a speaker on my right here. So I've gotten plus into red and black into minus. So this just needs to go ahead and be plugged into the back just here. So I'm gonna go off and do that. So there we go, that's gone in and now connected. So now the speakers are now connected to this device. The Vessel A1 markets itself as a single zone streaming device with native streaming abilities from within your favorite streaming music apps. You can now stream using AirPlay 2, which means you can group multiple Vessel A1s together and have the same playing out of all the rooms. There's Chromecast ability, Spotify Connect, and Bluetooth. There's a Vessel app which you can use to configure your settings, which we will have a look at very shortly. The unit has a 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz Wi-Fi adapter within, allowing you to connect on either frequencies, and it has the ability to be wired into your network too. The amplifier provides 50 watts into 4 ohms and 35 watts into 8 ohms. Probably not the most powerful amp, but definitely enough for most rooms. Let's take a look at how to set up the unit. There's really only two ways you can do this. One, using the Vessel app. 
and two, using Google Home. Let's go ahead to the App Store and download the Vessel app. So type in VSSL, and you can see it's the first app that appears just there. Once you've done that, click download. Do any authentication that's required, and then you can download the app. Once you're into the app, it will then ask you to allow to lo discover local devices and then also allow Bluetooth connectivity. And you can see that appeared straight away fairly quickly. So you need to fill in your details just here. And there we go, we'll put the speakers all the way low because I just don't know how loud these are. Running quickly through the app, you can see this is the home. If you have different zones listed, they would be up and down here. And then we have the system status. So it shows you that this is online and it's working. We go back, settings. So it's gonna try and use your location. Uh, I'm just gonna click don't allow for now. It's showing that I'm logged out of the account, but here's the device just here. And this shows you all the details on here. So you've got the streaming controls, uh, sound controls. This is the granular bit that I was talking about with the advanced EQ. Uh, input names, so if you wanna say what each of the inputs are, you can name them just here. IR control, let's turn on dark mode, that's it. And then always on. And then you can factory reset the device or restart the device, whatever you need. Then we have music settings. So depending on what you're using, um, Spotify, for example, uh, you can click go and it will take you to the app, but we're gonna do that shortly. Knowledge base, so if you have any issues with them, you can go to their KB and disconnect all zones. So if you wanna disconnect any, you can go just here and disconnect your zones. But all in all, all we wanna do is go ahead and play something. So I wanna look for some copyright free, royalty free music just because I don't want this video to get hit by copyrights. So we go ahead and press this. Let's skip the advert. And if we have a look on here, AirPlay and Bluetooth devices, you can see the Vessel app is just here. And there you go. And that's now playing through these speakers just here. So I have volume control here. And realistically, it's within a case of a couple of minutes of just plugging in the network cable, I'm ready to go and away using this device. Some of the things I'd like to see in the future, not everyone wants to be running cables everywhere around the house, so the ability to pair speakers wirelessly would be great. It has Google Home support, so definitely Alexa is something that needs to be looked at, and perhaps some additional connectivity like HDMI. I feel Vessel are testing the waters with their products in the market to see how they get on. I do like this product, it's easy and simple and set up to use. It has the finer granularity within the app if you want to make those small tweaks and changes. It will be interesting to see what other options this company comes out with in the future. Let me know your thoughts down in the description below, what you think, whether you'd be willing to use these, or even if you've just got any questions on these. And this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.